We caught up with Ollie Thompson ahead of his fight with Brett McDermott at Bama 17. Ollie will be hoping to break a two-fight losing streak inside the cage, whilst Brett looks to extend his winning run to four on the bounce. It all goes down December 6th at the Victoria Warehouse in Manchester. Ollie, first of all, thank you for taking the time to speak to us today. We certainly do appreciate it. Lots to discuss with you for your upcoming fight on December the 6th at Bama 17. But first of all, I want to talk to you a bit about your recent performances. Unfortunately, things haven't gone your way in 2014. Has it purely been bad luck on fight night, or do you feel you can pinpoint a reason for the last two losses? Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I've, gone, I've gone through it a little bit with people, but I'm happy to go through it again. It's been, it's been probably my worst year, mm. as far as um, just a worst year on paper, on paper. Anyway, which is, uh, you know, other than myself, that's what people, people look at, what's on paper is, is, what, yeah. is what it is. Um, obviously, it started off, I took you for my year, and it's obviously started off at uh, at Bama at the beginning of the year, um, mid March. Mm. Um, and to be honest, I was, I was just fighting fight a bum, really. I was fighting a bum, um, but I, I don't only fight I had, had an offer, offer to me. Mm. And I uh, wasn't particularly, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't mainly motivated, but I trained hard. I'm still in good shape. Mm. Um, you know, without, without going over it, because, you know, he, I've, I've proven myself over 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 the longer period than just one year, mm. and you know this guy, the guy, the guy that beat me, has been, been exposed to him. So it just it just shows number one that um, MMA, especially heavyweight MMA, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Come on, seconds. So nobody likes to taste defeat, obviously. So how much of a challenge has it been for you to stay motivated and prepare yourself mentally for this next fight? Uh, it's, not, it's not a challenge. I'm very motivated. I've got a, weight, a change of weight. And also, obviously, I had the fight in Poland um, in between the Bama fight and now, mm. which, um, which uh, I, I, went out, I went out of one, one very comfortably then and got given a loss because it was against their, uh, their, their national hero out there, Pushnowski. Um mm. So, mate, would you say that it like stressed you out a bit afterwards? career you had a lot of success have you made any changes in your training to make sure you get back to that sort of form and start stringing the wins together again or like you say has it just been purely bad luck for you
mm. the word is there for what I represent. This year, I don't really get, I don't get any, I mean, I, I'm, that's not a positive feeling, but I don't get any, I don't, I don't necessarily blame myself for having the two losses on the record this year because it's not, it's kind of certain, a certain events have been, much as they've different things I could have done different, mm. so a lot of events have been things that, that I haven't been in my control to mm. a certain degree. Um, whilst previously in my career, there's been losses, losses um, where I've learned more about the situations that I need, that I need to, Get right in my training to to, to evolve. I mean, it's, it's such as um, my, my my two fights in the UFC. Uh, when, when I when I when I got to the UFC, I, I hadn't even I hadn't even explored explored landing, landing striking yet. I hadn't I hadn't begun to do any. I had trained to, to strike at all at all at that point. All right. So um so uh, my my actual just hit just hitting pads and, and and trying to learn how to do that. Yeah. Began when I signed for the UFC. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's been a learning curve even when I got to that point there. So, I mean, some, some people would have said, oh, I'm not ready, but that's not my style, you know. I, I, I'll, I'll take the challenges. Hmm. All right, well, let's get into your upcoming fight with Brett, Brett McDum at Bama 17. First off, we're six days yeah. away from fight night. Preparations are going to be winding down this week. How has the training camp been for this fight? You'll be making your debut at light heavyweight. How much has that weight change changed up your preparations compared to other fight camps? Well, I mean, I've got, I've got um, obviously a, a different different diet because mm. um, my my diet, my nutritionist has given me a really nice diet over, over the course of the last sort of few weeks up and up to the fight week. Um, my training is sort of the same. It's just obviously I've just got to be aware. Be aware of um, the the, um, the the last few pounds coming off and um, training at the right time and time and stuff. But it hasn't really it changed much. It hasn't helped me back in any way. In actual fact, you know, it's really it's really um, developed physically. I've developed as much as I, I, I could probably I'm probably I could probably lift you now uh, five ten ten kilos less in the gym. But mm. I've actually gained a lot more explosiveness and, and mobility and agility. For that, so it's a, it's a, in my eyes, it's been a really good trade-off. Mm. So, has the weight cut been smooth for you? Yeah, it's not no no, no drama. Um, uh, it's um, it's a little bit boring. It's a little bit boring. Yeah. Um, not not a lot, lot um, not a lot of excitement going through my uh, my taste buds the last few weeks, yeah. for sure. <laughs> but um, it's not problem. I, I always eat clean, so it's just a matter of just chopping change, and changing a few of the details. So your opponent Brett McDermott, how much did you know about him when you were booked to fight him? Uh, I've seen a couple of fights. I heard his name a few times. Mm. I've seen a couple of fights. So I've been, I've been offered, offered, offered in fights with him a couple, by a couple of promotions before. All right. Um, and uh, he just, yeah, I think I saw he fought on Bama, so he seemed to be a good, a, a, a possible opponent. It's not like lo- loads of light weights on Bama in Bama. We just uh, we just wanted to get a plan up and running where um, we can sort of rebuild, rebuild or build some momentum at this, at this new weight class. Mm. And um, he's he's uh, he's got he's got he's got first he's got first go. Uh, as 
so you've had a bit of time to study your opponent now. How much? How do you think you match up with him stylistically? Um, you know, I haven't really studied too much. To rest. Um, I've seen a few fights. Mm. I mean, he's, he's got he's, 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 he's the main thing I say he's quite quite a big guy, quite quite a big guy at like heavyweight and uh, quite physical at the weight. But you know, the really that's really that's the, the least looking that I'm, I'm going to be concerned with. Mm. Coming from um, coming, coming, coming from the heavyweight background and also just coming from my own background. So you're focused more on just what you're going to do in the fight. No, I, I'm, I'm I'm not. Fo- I haven't been focused on trying to be more than what he is or, or what he is because mm. I, I feel like I, I've, I've got that covered. So I'm focusing on just being being a lot more dangerous and a lot more, and a lot more other areas as well. Mm. Now, Brett's on a free fight winning streak, and no disrespect to him, but I think you would agree that he hasn't faced the top-level competition in his professional career. So, are you impressed at all with what you've seen? Uh, I, I, I haven't seen nothing that, 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 that impresses me. No, I haven't seen nothing that impresses me. None of the, the, the record doesn't majorly impress me. Hmm. Um, and... It's, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. Um, everyone's got their own sort of things, that, 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 their own capabilities and their own dangers. But now I'm not impressed with him. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know if the record is, is, is what it is on show level or whatever. Um, I mean, I know last, I saw, I saw one fight he went the distance with, um, with Sean Lomas last year. Not to forget Sean, but he's one. You know, he's fighting every, in, in, each and every week. Some of my friends have beaten him at, at 77 kilos. You know, right. the first round. So. Um, yeah, I don't like to read too much into it because, because, but, but if I was going to, you know, I'd be very confident looking at his record because, you know, this this, this is a different, completely different, different ball game. Mm. And obviously, you've been in there with the top caliber fighters like the UFC level guys. Do you think that will play a benefit for you in this fight? Because obviously, you've had that experience. Uh, well, you know, yeah, it definitely helps me, helps me for know, for know my levels. You know. Um, So if you take the calibre of competition out of the equation, and like you say, the experience, if you just focus on cage time, it will be your 20th professional fight compared to Brett's just his fifth. Do you think the experience of just having spent more time in the cage is a benefit for you? Well, I mean, it's, it's a benefit for me. So I guess, it's a, I guess in, the same, in the same way you could say it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a negative for him in the same way because... I, even at a, 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 a not being a teenage fighter no more, you know, I never was. Uh, I, I've, I've still got a lot of growing grow to do. You know, you find you, if you look at you look at me, for example, the sort of the UK scene. It, 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 some of the guys started training when I started training MMA. Mm. Um, you find you might find that they've got like a, a seven, six or seven amateur fights, and they've just, and they've just had they've had four or five pro fights. Uh, but, but we, but we were, but so people were talking about that. People talk about these, these, these like new guys as they, as they, as, as they get kind of referred to, as um, and they're still, still on, on their, on their learning curve and still, um, still building their way up. Mm. But um, the, 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 the sort of missed fact of the matter is that I was starting out and doing the same, same things as them. Well, I just jumped in, so I'm still on that learning curve. But I was just, but I was just beating guys up while I was on it. All right, well, an interesting fact about you is obviously that you're a former winner of Britain's Strongest Man competition. Does that play into your fighting style? Do you feel physically dominant over opponents? Um, you know, I, I think it's gonna, I think it's going to actually make affect what I can do now in this new weight class a bit more because I didn't try and be. I'm, I'm not like six foot four, six foot, six foot eight, or whatever. I'm, I'm six foot one. So I didn't, I didn't try and be a massive, massive heavyweight mm. because um, depending on how tall you are, how much you you can, how how big a size you can pull off on your structure. You know, if you're seven foot, you can pull off twenty five and pull off 
be that that big still. Mm. Still, be, be, still be mobile. So I ended up being a smaller guy and gradually brought my weight down through my time fighting a heavyweight. To the point where I was one of the lightest heavyweights, probably one of the, probably the most powerful and one explosive, but not 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 not, not the, the most not, not the biggest. Um, so it just meant sort of how I would set out to set out to, to approach a fight was different because I, I would sort of rather, rather be more agile and not take too many gambles with um, with, with these, these big so many big oaths who can who can hurt you with, with one shot at any moment just by chance. Mm. Um, whilst I like heavyweight, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm, it's not, there's not there's not many like heavyweights out there that. Um, they're going to be like me, and they're going to, going to, be, going to come out how, how I can come out, and um, it's going to be fun. Hmm. Now, if all goes to plan in this fight, is there any particular goals you do have going forward? Uh, my, my goals are to, you know, just to just obviously pass, pass, pass this fight. Hmm. I just want to make, 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 a run, make a run in this new weight class, enjoy my fighting, um, pay my, and pay my bills with it, and while I'm doing that, it's all good. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to lose any more city fights. If I lose a fight at some point, I don't want to lose to someone. I want to. I think we to a top guy who um, who managed to figure figure it out. I'm not going to give no one no gifts. Mm. I'm com- I'm, com- I'm coming. I'm coming to to, to to take some names and, uh, and and be noticed. Now within in Bama, the light heavyweight division isn't particularly stacked. Do you feel like you can make a title run? Is is it, is it that well within your reach with a win over Brett? So you're going to be looking for that finish? Uh, well, I don't want to give too much away. It's, but, but just, uh, just uh, the, the uh, whether, whether the winner, when a three round decision or, or a one minute knockout, the, 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 sort of the manner, the manner of the um, of the of the fighter can can I, can I certainly answer some questions about um, possibilities moving forward. All right, Ollie. Well, before we let you go, is there anything you'd like to add, or do you have a message for Brett ahead of your fight? Um, no, I'm just uh, just want to say to everybody to come and support the show. It's an amazing show, and I'm I'm going to show up and um, show people what I'm about moving into 2015. All right, Ollie. Well, on behalf of Kingdom MMA, I'd like to say thank you again for your time. We wish you all the best with the rest of your preparations, and we look forward to seeing you on Fight Night. Thanks, mate.